in this problem we have a cantilever beam which is supported by this spring at point B and we have a point load applied at point C with magnitude P and we need to find what is the reaction at this spring using Macaulay's step function so then we can start drawing the free body diagram for this problem As you can see here, we have the vertical reaction at the wall, RA, the reaction moment, MA, and we have also the spring reaction at B here. Then we have three unknowns, and from equilibrium, we can find the two first equations that we need to solve this problem. We know, of course, that the sum of forces in the vertical direction is equal to zero and that the sum of moments is also equal to zero so from this equation we find that and if we calculate this um, equilibrium of moments at point A we find that Then we have essentially two equations and three unknowns, MA, RA and RB. So we need to find one additional equation, one constraint on deformation in order to solve this problem. So first, since we have already two equations, what we can do is we can calculate MA and RA as a function of this force of this reaction force RB that we have to calculate because this will simplify a lot our problem later so from this first equation we have that the reaction force A is equal to P minus RB and from here we have that MA is equal to RB times L halves minus PL so these are equations 1 and 2. So now using Macaulay's the function we can calculate what is the distribution of moments for this beam. So we can calculate what is the moment at any arbitrary point x. So m is equal to First, this moment MA plus RA times X. And now this reaction force RB, which is applied at L half. So this is plus RB X minus L half. Okay. So now, next step is we can look at the moment curvature relationship in order to find the expressions for the slope and for the deformation or deflection of this beam. Then we have the moment curvature relationship. We know that minus m is equal to ei, the second derivative of the displacement with respect to x. So this is basically the negative of this equation, so this is equal to then as you can see here the second derivative of the displacement with respect to x is a function of MA, RA and RB but remember that we know RA and MA as a function of RB so we can use here equations 1 and 2 and now we can transform this equation as an equation as a function only of RB so if we use here as I said 1 and 2 we have that this is equal to
then now we can integrate this equation once so we have that this is the expression for the slope then we integrate once more and we have that and now we have to apply boundary conditions in order to determine what are the constants of integration a and b we know that the this beam is clamped here at a so at x equal to 0 we know that the deformation is equal to zero, the deflection is equal to zero, and we know that at x equal to zero here at the wall, the angle dv dx is also zero. And we know that at x equal to zero, the angle dv dx is also equal to zero. Then from this equation, we use this expression here for the deflection. So this is zero, this is zero. Of course, this bracket is zero and this is zero. So b is equal to zero. And for the second condition, we use this equation and we have that this is zero, this is zero, and this bracket is zero, then A is equal to zero. Then, as we said before, we need to find one additional equation to solve this problem. Then we need one additional boundary condition. And if we look at here at point B, we know that the deformation of the beam at this point equals the deformation of the spring. And of course, the deformation of the spring is equal to the force divided by k. Then this is the additional equation, the initial additional condition at x equal to L halves. We have that. this relation holds then using this equation again we have that note that in this case well remember that this is zero and this is zero and in this case this bracket is also zero then this is the third equation that we were looking for so from here from equation three we can calculate rb so rb is equal to Then this is the value of the reaction force uh, at the spring and note that uh, if the support is rigid we have that k, the constant k is equal to infinity and then the reaction force rb is equal to 5p over 2.